guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Crown Hyundai in St. Pete, Florida, and we have a small SUV that many of you have been anxiously waiting for. This is the refreshed, updated, changed up 2022 Hyundai Kona. This particular one is the top trim. This is a limited trim, but before we get into this small size SUV, let's talk about what's going on here, Hyundai. They have one heck of a lineup when it comes to their SUVs. It all starts with the smallest one, the Venue, and it goes all the way up to their largest one, the Palisade. Of course, in between, you got the Santa Fe, you got the Tucson, and you have this Kona. Now, many of those vehicles are either new or have received some type of refresh or redesign. Now it's the Kona's turn. This vehicle goes up against other subcompact crossover SUVs. So you definitely want to think of vehicles like the Mazda CX-30, the Nissan Kicks, and we can't forget the sister brand, the Kia Seltos. And there's others there, but those would be the main players. Now, for 2022, they decided to bring some big changes, some small changes, and everything in between. So what I want to find out is, is the Hyundai Kona, especially the limited trim, is this the subcompact SUV you want to be buying with your hard-earned money? Also, what are those changes for 2022 that makes it possibly one heck of a stellar standout? So let's go ahead, let's dive into our limited trim Kona and find out what's going on with 2022 and this model. Right off the bat, the changes start right at the front of the business. So you're going to get a major refresh design up front with the styling. So you'll notice that we're still running with the split setup, very similar to the other vehicles in their lineup. When you look at the Santa Fe, when you look at the Palisade, you're gonna have your headlights down low in the lower section, and up top, you have your LED daytime running lamp. So LED up top, LED headlights. I really like the way they kinda redesigned this whole housing, made it a little bit smaller, and definitely the different elements really make it pop and give it such a 21st century spin to it. Now, the Kona has been around since 2018. So interesting to see how just in a few short years, how design has changed on SUVs, especially the smaller ones, and how they brought it into the Kona. Now, you're gonna have functional side air curtains, and I'm glad that they went with this nice, flat, metallic gunmetal gray. Instead of a gloss black or a flat black, it really pops nicely with the particular white limited trim, but you can see the nice hard edge lines gives it such a unique, distinct style to it. Now, as we come across the center grill, this is all changed. So this whole front thing is changed for 2022. This grill is specific to the limited trim. So gloss black, you can see it's fully functional up top, and then as we kind of trickle our way down, you have that gunmetal gray, and then you're gonna have a little bit more gloss black, but the great news is functional both on the bottom and in the middle, and some bright silver in that middle section just to give it enough elements of style and things that are gonna attract your eyes to all the different details. Now, when we get up onto the front of the vehicle, you have that large Hyundai badge. I'm okay with it being shiny chrome, kind of matches well with the whole limited idea. And then when you get up onto the hood, you'll notice just some slight rises. And what's interesting is that they actually start on the top of the front fascia and then go into the hood and everything curves back towards those A pillars. Now, as we come around the curve, come around the bend here and look at our wheel and tire setup, all new wheels. So this is another element to the 2022 Kona. You're gonna get an all new wheel design no matter what trim you go with. This is an 18 inch wheel. It is specific to the limited trim. Love the machine aluminum elements, some gloss black, and just like the front of the vehicle, it has some nice hard edges there to really give it a unique standout style. Now it's 235 on the width, 45 series sidewall. We have a front wheel drive Kona. You can get the Kona in all wheel drive and there's gonna be a ton of trims, including an end line, which I can't wait to bring to you here from Crown Hyundai. Now you do have that gunmetal gray that kind of comes up from the front bumper area, curves into the fender, and I'm liking it. Like I said, it's better than flat black, and it's way better than gloss black, and it works well with the white and that style of wheel. Now, as we come down the rest of the side of the vehicle, you'll notice the styling on the side mirrors, color match, but look at what they did with the turn signals. Those LED turn signals, very, very unique how they blended that in. Nice style on the door panels, 
And if you look, your door handles color match, a little bit of that silver and a little bit of that flat gray. And I think really the way they kind of did that lower sill area with those indentations gives it that element of design that from the side, it's also gonna catch your eye. It's not just about the front. You'll notice the low roof rails and we have the optional Hyundai crossbar. So you could put a cargo basket up there. You could get your mountain bike. You do have flat black around the window treatment and in the center here. I, I, I'm okay with it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if they at least made this gloss black, but you know what? You don't have to worry about fingerprints, so that's good news. Working our way towards the rear, you can see how they did that floating roof design. You have the flat black that kind of comes off. It would have been nice to go with the gunmetal gray, so I am gonna zonk that. It would have been nice to have the same texture, same material as the fenders and the fender flare into this back area, but you'll notice the vortex generators to clean that air as it comes down the side of the vehicle. And then as we come around back, we have some big changes. You can see what we did with the taillights, LED, and you have that split light setup. But the great news is it's not in the lower bumper. It's right in this area. You're gonna have your turn signals and obviously your reverse light that is gonna illuminate. But I do like the way they really trim this up. Nice black on the interior of the taillight housing. And it does match the style of the headlight housing. We have the 1.6 liter turbocharged engine. It's gonna be that top engine, more power to talk about. And then as we kind of slide across on the limited trim, you got your chrome badge, a little bit of chrome in the center here. We do have a rear wiper. I'm not gonna zonk it at this price point, this level of vehicle. Yes, you got plenty of room to put it underneath here. So let's go ahead and just do a half zonk. But I like the very, very long, low roof spoiler that comes off the back. It's got a little bit of a dip in the center and you have that color match shark fin antenna. But as we drop back down, you got your Kona badge and I like what they did with the rear bumper. Just something very simple, but it also has a lot of detail to it. I like these um, horizontal bars that they put in the rear area and the metallic silver matches perfectly with what's going on at the front end of the business. But while we go ahead, We've seen the changes to the exterior. Let's pop the hood and talk numbers with the engine. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. I am gonna zonk that on a limited trim. This is a top trim. Should have hydraulic hood struts. Underneath the hood though, very, very tasteful with what's going on with the engine. You don't have a massive cover that hides everything. You can see some of the inner bits. You'll notice that turbo name up there because like I said, this is a turbocharged engine. So what we're looking at for 2022 is a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine, just like before, but now instead of 175 horsepower, we've bumped that up to 195 horsepower, 195 pound-feet of torque. And the best news is no CVT on this limited trim. You have a seven-speed DCT, zero to 60 in about six seconds flat, top speed 135 miles an hour, the vehicle weighs 3,072 pounds. MPGs, not too shabby. 28 in the city, 32 on the highway. And it's even the little things. Like, look at how they finish this back portion near the firewall. It's the little touches that really stand out to me, especially once you pop the hood. But why don't we go ahead? We talked about the outside, the changes. We talked about more horsepower. That's a nice change. Let's get to the interior and see what's in store for you for 2022 in the Kona. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 updated, changed up Kona limited trim. I know you're at that point where you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm about to plop down some money on a Kia Seltos. When you guys did the review, you and Lori did your review in Texas, I fell in love with it. I'm starting to like this Kona though, and I really wanna see what's on the inside of this thing. I'm also even thinking about a CX-30, a turbo one. Very good choice, by the way. How much is this, Joe? That's what you're saying right now. How much is this vehicle? This 2022 Kona limited trim, the way you see it, has an MSRP a little bit over $30,000. Let's see what you get for your hard-earned money to the door panels. We're gonna have to drop a zonk right away. That top portion of the door panel hard as Plymouth Rock where the Pilgrims landed. Center section though gets a little bit better. That off-white ceramic white material is soft and it does break up the sea of dark plastic everywhere. Even the armrest is a place that your arm is going to enjoy resting because it is soft touch. Now you do have flat black around the switch gear. The good news about that is that it is going to hide the fingerprints. As you work your way down, door pocket is a little tight. 
maybe one Krispy Kreme donut and a bottle of YooHoo to wash it down. But the good news is we have the optional Harman Kardon sound system to give you some nice, clean tunes, very nice clarity to the sound of the music being played in this Kona. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, this may look exactly the same as the top of the door panel, but it's soft. I don't know why they didn't use this material on the door panel, especially at the top. This is as hard as a rock, but the good news is I like the aeronautical style to the AC vents, a little bit of silver trim, and then as we kind of slide to the center stack here, you're gonna notice an all new infotainment system that's on the limited trim. This is a 10.25 infotainment system screen. Now the good news is everybody gets a larger screen for 2022. Standard used to be seven, now you get eight inches, but you know what, if you're gonna go big, might as well go 10.25 inches as long as you use it all. It is that floating iPad style. Some people like it, some people hate it. I don't think there's anybody in the middle there, but the good news is it's got that nice large horizontal screen, of course, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. My zonk is it's not the most intuitive, but it is a touch screen. And when you wanna get in your different controls, they do have the buttons here, which are easily accessible. You have the sounds of nature, listen to that after a hard day at work. But you'll notice that when you go to hit things, it doesn't like happen instantaneously. Backup camera, it did get a little bit of clarity for 2022. You do have your trajectory. I just wish it was a little bit larger. And what you can do is, is you could actually adjust where the camera is angled. The bad news is we just can't get more of this beautiful space, but you do have the blind spot monitoring, which is nice as you're backing up. And then we're right back to where we started. Put it in the park, we drop our way down. I do like the clean way that they integrate the AC vents. You have your start stop button. What's weird is limited trim, only standard AC controls, New, no dual climate. So we're gonna have to look at the competition. I know some of the competition does give you dual climate. So we'll give you a half zonk on that one. I do like the way they have these toggle switches for the AC controls. Work your way down, you have a secret Twinkie tray, and then you have, check it out, USBs, two of them, and a 12 volt, just don't stick your Twinkie in there. Wireless charging, this is gonna control that seven speed DCT with the leather, the shift boot, there's a dead button here. Why on the top trim is there a dead button? I have no idea, but we are gonna zonk that. You do get heated seats, no ventilated seats, and you get this updated drive mode selector switch, which I'll show you more of that when you come to the business end. Two cup holders, a Snickers tray, so you don't get hangry. Here is your key fob. Obviously, we'll peel this back a little bit just for you. I won't tell anybody, as long as you don't. It's got the Hyundai badge there. Flip it around, there's your buttons. Remote start, which is nice. Nice high armrest, and it matches. The problem is it's, it, it's like as hard as a piece of rock. It really is. Flip it up, though. You could easily put that baseball that was signed by Michael Jordan. Yes, Michael Jordan played baseball once upon a time. There's a little bit of felt lining in there, but my advice is wrap it in sur some saran wrap so you don't mess up that autograph. Close that up. Seats. You get the nice leather material. The stitch work is nice. Perforated in the center. The bad news is on a limited trim, Manual assist for the passenger. That's a bummer. That's a zonk. But at least over here on the driver's side, I do get electric assist. And there is a standard size sunroof there, which is a nice touch. But why don't you come over to the business end? Because you're going to find some of the biggest changes on my side where the gauges are. Come on over. All right, guys. Business time behind the wheel of this limited trim. Kona, you do have your seat controls. Easy to get to. That lower lumbar. Ooh, ooh. That feels good right there. Now with the limited trim, you are getting a leather wrapped steering wheel and it is manually tilting and telescoping, flat black on all the buttons. The one piece that they should have done something with is right here in this V section. It just makes this whole area look like a rental car. The nice touch is the leather, but this just looks very much like a rental car. Definitely not a limited trim, but where things change is look at that new gauge pod. That is a 10.25 inch instrumentation, gauge pod. I like the way that there's a hood. Unlike the Tucson, the Kona has that nice shade protection and it looks like a finished piece, which is wonderful. The bad news is you don't have that wonderful camera system when you're using your turn singles like you find in some of the other Hyundai products. But what you do have is the mode selector. So we're gonna start off in normal, but who wants to be normal? Red, red means race, sport mode. You could race your Kona. And then when you feel like, hey, you don't feel very smart for the day, 
put it in smart mode, it'll actually boost your IQ, IQ by about 20 points. So you choose where you wanna be. I'm going sport mode all day. Love the clear graphics and fonts. Gonna be interesting to see how the driving portion really correlates with the different modes. I'm six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom in here. Doesn't feel like a subcompact, but let's get to the back seat area and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this refresh Kona. All right guys, we're in the back seat. Not a ton of changes back here, but you know what? It's interesting because the Seltos sits on the same chassis as this Kona, but yet there feels like there's less space in here compared to the Seltos. Now I have plenty of headroom, just, just, just enough, but it just feels tight back here. Now the other bad news, the Zonka is you just get the plastic on the back. There's no pocket whatsoever on the driver's side. The good news though is for people that have kids, you can clean their boogers and their fingerprints off of this very easily. You do get a USB, so that's good news, but there is only one, and you do have an atomic fireball tray, which is a good uh, thing to have, or everlasting gobstoppers. I would fill that in there. That'll keep your kids busy. Just hopefully they don't bite down on it. You do have the pesky cargo net here, um, so you're not gonna be able to put your nunchucks, knives, or Chinese throwing stars, because it'll rip through here, but you could put an abacus. So that's the good part of that. Like I said, I'm six feet tall, not too bad seats you got the nice armrest semi soft with the two cup holders and the seats are comfy which is good but why don't we go ahead let's get to the cargo area and see what we could haul in this car all right guys time to get into the cargo area real simple you just hit the button and you're gonna have to use your own muscle and lift it up there's no electric assist but when you're looking at the competition they really don't have electric assist either now starting off with the rear seats up you're getting a really good amount of usable space 19.2 cubic feet of space you can see we have the optional all-weather cargo liner which is nice the zonk is there's no 12 volt there's no power source back here so if you go camping if you go to the beach and the kids are like can you blow up this big huge raft you're gonna have to use your own lungs instead of using a power source back here in the kona because there isn't one now the good news is you lift up the cargo area, they give you these nice trays. You can fill these up with snacks. So you can put Skittles, M&Ms, maybe some Twix bars, some Kit Kats. The even better news is you do have a spare. So I know a lot of times manufacturers are getting rid of spares. You do have a spare. To get the seats down, I'm gonna give it a half zonk. And the reason why is you gotta kind of squeeze over and do it this way like that. But they fold down. I'll get to the passenger side here and get that. You gotta go all the way up here and then push folds almost totally flat and if you're wondering well joe how much space do we have now you're looking at over 40 cubic feet of space so you could go to costco do your costco run get the cases of water fight over some toilet paper maybe some disinfecting wipes and you can load it up into here but you know what if you're ready this guy's ready let's go on throttle and see what an extra 25 horsepower feels like all right guys we left crown hyundai we're in this 2022 Kona Limited. We're out on the highway. Just wanted to start off big and really experience what it's like to have this subcompact crossover SUV out on the highway. It's actually very smooth, very comfortable. The seats are supportive. You do have the heated seats. For me, living in Florida, it would be nice if these higher trim subcompact crossover SUVs would have ventilated seats. But definitely over the expansion joints really gives a nice ride experience there is a bit of road noise but other than that very very smooth and i think when you compare it to the competition it's definitely going to surprise you visibility since a lot hasn't changed when it comes to the overall size and shape of the kona visibility is still great you are riding still on that same chassis like i mentioned from the 2021 model year but Having the larger infotainment system screen, I know a lot of people are still debating on these floating iPad style screens. It's easy to see, it's easy to get to. And then the digital gauges, Hyundai does a great job with the clarity, with the fonts, with the colors. Everything else is well laid out in here. It's just some of the hard materials. Like for me, I like to put my arm up on top of the door panel ledge there it's just on the hard side so that that's something that if you like to put your arm up there it, it's not very comfortable on a longer drive but what you're getting for the price with the 
seating material with the sunroof and then of course the technology piece you got your wireless charging and everything it really allows you to have all that accessibility that you want and need while you're doing your your daily commute i'm going to go ahead and put it into sport mode which is real simple you just twist the drive mode selector knob it's got a nice finish to it so it definitely helps with the overall feel in this kona for 2022 and then we're going to go on throttle right here right now on throttle here we go so we got a bit of traction loss there because this is front wheel drive and then if you haven't driven a hyundai with the seven speed dct there is that initial pause and then on top of that you are waiting for the boost from that 1.6 liter turbocharged engine what we're going to do is we'll go uh, a little bit quicker and go on throttle to see how it is from a roll i think we're going to notice a difference when it comes to this vehicle for sure but you got your safety features your blind spot monitoring all those things that you come to expect today with a vehicle that is a 2022 model year vehicle but let's go ahead and slow down a little bit here and i'm going to go ahead and uh get on throttle again so on throttle here we go so good news is from the seven speed dct you are getting quick shifts there's just a little bit of a pause there when you get on throttle even in sport mode so i would like to see that rectified in some way shape or form to give me a little bit more instantaneous on throttle as you can see here in florida people like to sometimes ride in both lanes and i don't know if you heard you had that collision warning that was going on so you are like i said you're getting those safety features that you want but very very easy to navigate even on regular roads tight city streets and you're gonna have some really good usable space in here. It just uh, depends on what competitor you're also looking at. May have more, may have less, or may have the same as this uh, 2022 uh, Kona. You got the lane keep assist, which is also a nice feature. But overall, the ride quality is great, super smooth, and not super noisy. I'm not hearing a bunch of wind noise. I'm actually hearing maybe the noise is a little bit higher when it comes to the road noise with those 18 inch wheels but the wind noise is at a minimum which is great that's good news can't wait to get our hands on an end line and see how that drives overall but uh the work they did with the, the instrumentation i think you're really gonna like i think that's something that a lot of people look for and also that 10.25 inch screen which is also a very very nice touch all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in manual shift mode. Now, the bad news is there's no paddles, and the re the shift pattern is actually reverse. you got to push forward to go up a gear, pull back to go down a gear. So I am going to zonk that, but let me go ahead and get into that second gear right there. On throttle, here we go. So very, very quick shifts as you go gear to gear, and you are going to have that little quicker acceleration when you're shifting manually with the actual shift lever. Engine's a little buzzy, but that's to be expected. It is an inline four turbocharged engine. I do like the way they put the gear indicator on the higher side on the instrumentation though. As you can see, driving in regular uh, daily traffic, super, super easy, smooth visibility is nice for a vehicle this size. And uh, if they would have just changed just a couple things on the interior, it really would have brought it truly to what you would expect from a limited trim. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the Kona Limited is all about for 2022 and all the changes that it has been brought to it. We're gonna get back to Crown Hyundai and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Crown Hyundai. I definitely got to thank Steven and the rest of the crew for getting us access to their very first 2022 Kona limited trim. It was nice to show you the changes. And I'm telling you right now, competition is fierce in this subcompact category of the SUV market. You're really going to want to add one of these to your list. 
especially if you're going at, after those other nameplates like the Kia Seltos, the Mazda CX-30, the Nissan Kicks, the Honda HRV, the Toyota CHR. Lots of competition, even some that I didn't even mention. But if you want to keep seeing small SUVs like these as they come right off the truck, fresh and restyled just for you, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, two ways to do it. Click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera out here in the Florida sun, getting it done with this 2022 Kona. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.